Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I trust that all of you had a great holiday weekend. We're back at it this week. And one of the best things we can do right now is just to kind of slide into things a little bit easy, kind of decide on how we want this week to end, and understand we are in control of the way we feel about things, therefore the way we do things and the way we see things. All of us have this opportunity today to rise above whatever was bugging us and say, you know what, I'm over it. A lot of times when we become depressed or a little bit concerned or somebody said, you must be bipolar or somebody said, wow, you need to take de antidepressants, really what could be going on is a blood chemistry issue. Maybe it's something you ate. And I discovered that sugar is one of the enemies of our moods. It causes us to go up and down and up and down. If we eliminate sugar, that can help. Also, some of the sweeteners out there aren't that good for you either. Aspartame's proven to be a neurotoxin and a poison. So I'm gonna suggest that for sweeteners, you might go to something like Stevia. And there's a product, a lot of products out on the market now that will replace sugar and it's pretty close to it and it tastes pretty good. But sugar is an enemy. Another thing I want you to do is thoughts can be an enemy if you're not focused on what you want. It's easy to focus on what we don't want. It's easy to let other people sway us into a mood or a thought in a particular day that causes us to crescendo downhill. One of the things I want you to do today is make a commitment to yourself. You're going to commit to being an original thinker, which means you're going to commit to listening to your own mind and when someone else says you should do something, which remember that should is a virus word, it doesn't mean you should. All it means is let's examine the options and see how we feel about it, how it looks to us. Because your complex equivalency is unique to you, not anyone else. Other people might see it a different way than you and translate that to you. And so many times we just think we're wrong and everyone else is right. And oh my goodness, we turn into a tennis ball in life because we're tempting to please everyone else when our own intelligence can drive us better than anyone else's intelligence. What it takes is balance. A little bit of heart, a little bit of mind, a little bit of soul, and you listen to all of those inside of you and go that direction. Sometimes what seems illogical is the most logical. Sometimes what society says might not be the proper thing, might be the best thing. So right now, what I want you to do today is go into this week, not with a full on attack, but slide into it with intelligence, with a proper attitude, with focusing on what you want, and really, really decide today what you can do today to start going in that direction. And guess what? Once you do that, something magical is gonna happen. It's gonna seem like magic, but it's really kind of the law of physics. You're gonna start attracting to you the things that you want in your life. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary week this week. I'll see you tomorrow.